Today we're going to talk about how to update a page in WordPress. So in our example, we've already logged into our WordPress dashboard, which you can see on the screen here. So in this example, we're going to update our services tab, our services page. So um, when editing WordPress sites, I like to have the dashboard open in one tab and the page that I'm going to be looking at or the website open in another tab. So that as I'm making changes and making updates, I can quickly check and see if it looks how I expect it to look. So that's just a tip to save you a little bit of time and make um, editing your website go a little bit faster. So the first thing that you need to do after you've logged in to your dashboard is to locate the page that you want to edit in the dashboard. So to do that, from the dashboard screen, what we're going to do is scroll down here to the pages section. And if I click on that, it's going to show me all the pages that exist for a site, which you can see here. Sometimes you have way more than, you know, just 12 pages. So sometimes you can use, it's faster to use the search box here to locate the page that you want to update. You can also use the filter here to, if you know it was published on a certain date, you can look there. Uh, another way that you can locate the page you want to edit, and this is kind of a shortcut once you get comfortable editing, is that when you're, when you're logged into WordPress and you're viewing your site, usually you'll have this uh, toolbar across the top, and you can see whatever page you're on, there's a button at the top that says Edit Page, and this will take you directly into the edit screen for that page. So that's a little bit of a shortcut that you can take. If you don't have a toolbar up there, there's a, a way to turn it on by going to your profile, but you can usually locate uh, an edit link down here at the bottom. This, these links only show up if you're logged in to your dashboard already. So just, just so you know, there's a couple of shortcut ways to get to the edit page. So back to our dashboard, We've located the services page, and to, to get to the edit screen for it, you can click on the name, or you can hover and then click on this edit link that shows up. Either one will bring you to the edit screen for that particular page. Okay, so now we're looking at the edit screen for the services page. You'll see up here at the top, this is the title of the page, which you'll see on the page right here. And as we go down here, this large box right here is the main content of the page, which again, you can see shows up on this part of the page. All right, so we're going to update, um, we're going to add a few headings and maybe a picture or two in this page just so you can see how this works. Now, the first thing that you want to check is that you have all of your icons showing for your edit screen. Um, You'll notice right here I have one row of icons with bold, italic, etc. This there's a, a toolbar toggle button, and when you click that, it will show you the second row of editing icons. And these are important so because they allow you to add um, the, the proper headings to your content when you want to add headings. Um, it also has the underline and special characters when you need things like copyright, register trademark, etc. So the second row is really helpful, so be sure to turn that on. All right, so we're going to come down to our main content box, and I'm going to add a heading. And another heading. Now, what we want to do is set this heading to be an H2. So to do that, you select the text that you want to transform into a heading. And then we're going to go to this drop down and select heading two. Now, the heading one on, a, on any given page is uh, typically reserved for the title of the page. So when you start adding headings, you in the main content, you want to start with H2. And then you use headings logically, just like you would in a, a research paper, um, you just divide up your content into logical sections. We'll call this H3. All right, so I've done that, and I want to see how this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and click Update over here in the Publish box. And that's going to update my changes 
to the page. And then I'm going to come to this tab where I'm looking at the page and I want to see how my changes look. So I'm going to refresh the browser so that it updates with my changes that I just made. And you can see that it's added the headings that I've added. All right, I'm going to show you how to um, upload an image. And we have some separate videos on how to upload images and PDFs, so I won't go into great detail, but just so you know that the, what these buttons do. These two buttons right above the content box are for adding media, and media is images, PDFs, or any kind of file you want to upload to WordPress that's allowed to be uploaded. And then forms is for adding a gravity form, which we won't go over here, but just so you know what that is. All right, so I'm going to add an image, and I'm going to I want to add it at the top here, and I want to kind of float it over to the right and have my text wrap around it. So the first thing I'm going to do is place my cursor where I want the top of my image to be. So I'm putting my cursor right in here at the front of this heading. And then I'm going to click this Add Media button, and it's going to show me the Insert Media dialog box. Now you have, if you have a few options here, you can you can insert things that are already uploaded to your media library, <clears throat> or we can upload something directly from our computer. So that's what I'm going to do here. So we click the Select Files, and I'm going to go on my computer and select the file I want to upload. And you can see it thinks and does a little processing, and then it uploads the image here, and you can see that it's checked. So this is the image I just uploaded. Now, before I insert it into the page, I'm going to check my settings over here on the right. So, you can see here the title. We don't need a title anymore for images, so I just delete that and erase anything that's in that field. But it, we do need to fill out the alt text. Now, the alt text is um, supposed to be a description of what the image is. Now, this is because on some people's browsers, they block images, and the image never appears. So you want to use something that describes what the image is. So just keep that in mind when you fill out the alt text. And when you, you can try to include keywords, things that relate to what you're talking about on the page, but it should ultimately also describe what the image is. All right, so we're going to keep scrolling down here in our settings before we insert it into the page. Now, first thing is we want it to align to the right. So we're going to just select right from this alignment drop down. And we have the option to link the image to something if we want. Um, I don't I don't want it to link to anything, so I'm going to select no, none. But if you needed to link this to another page, you could put select custom URL and put in the, the URL that you want to link the image to. And if you want it to link it to a larger version of the same image, you could select media file. And then attachment page we don't use much, but that's sort of a page that belongs to that image. Um, most people don't use that application, um, so we won't really go over it in detail. But in this case, I'm going to select none. All right, now when you upload an image in WordPress, it will create uh, some default sizes for you, depending on the size of the image that you uploaded. So uh, it's created a thumbnail size, a medium size, and then we can see the full size here. So I'm going to insert the medium size. We're going to click Insert into Page. All right, that took a second, but there it is. It shows up in our page. So I can go ahead and click Update and check how it looks. Um, if, you, if you want to check before you update, you can also use this Preview Changes button. If we click that, it's going to open another separate tab and just show, show us a preview of what this is going to look like. So that's a good option, too, if you want to check before you um, click Publish. So this is showing us what the image looks like. So that looks good to me. I'm going to close that tab, and I'm going to go ahead and click Update so that it publishes to the, to the real site. All right, I'm going to switch over to this tab and just double check. I refresh my browser so it will show me the latest version. And there it is.
So that looks good to me. That is the, um, the basics of updating a page. You can explore all of these different icons. Um, we have separate videos on how to add a link and how to add in a PDF and things like that. So be sure to check those out.